I think what you're touching on, I love what, love what you say there, you know, about the two hemispheres of the brain. You know, there's, there's a great limitation to approaching healing simply from the left brain, from the logical mind, almost like a medical, you know, model. Because 10 people could have asthma and they could all have 10 different, you know, ways they got there. It's like, it's like if you're at the, at the football stadium, you've got 80,000 people there, but they all got there a different way. They all ended up in the same place, but they got there through a different way. And um, it, yeah. so if you approach healing simply a, through a logical brain, you're not honoring the, the diversity and the, the, the uniqueness of, of, of the person. And you end up guessing you're, you're just like, well, try this medicine or try this herb or try this vitamin. And you end up resorting to guessing, you know, based on study from this and that. So it's not personalized in any way. Um, if you only approach it from the the right brain and you just say, okay, I'm going to wave my hands over you and we're going to, you know, we're going to, you know, uh, ring a ring a, a tuning fork wave it over you and put magnets on you and fray over you. I mean, there's something kind of, you know, it, it, it lacks the meat. So yeah. I think the best healing system is a combination of the head and the heart. If you can balance the head and the heart, so it's, you've got your basis of, of knowledge, but then you also have the ability to set that aside and listen and tune in. So that your mind's not going, 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 and it's blocking your ability to actually listen to the patient. Um, yeah, if you can combine that, I think you've got the the ultimate healing system. 